man has to learn to deal with evil. He has to learn to overcome, to transcend the evil that's in the beast within him, in the, in the going forth beast within him. That's everywhere. And so we have, man has to learn how to deal with that. And how do we deal with it? And that's one of the things that we learn in Cosman, is how to do that. How to transcend. The Cosman will come out of that. Cosman meaning the balance between the spiritual and the corporeal. And the S-man and the animal man. And it's not that we deny the animal man, but rather we understand the nature of the animal man. And Jehovah, through his kingdom, and through Owaspi, we can read about this, gives us certain information, certain ways of, of living, of being, so as to allow the transcendency of S within us over the animal uh, man within us, and in particular the beast aspect of the animal man. And so in, in this Cosman era, we rise to understand how to deal with the beast that's out there, the evil that comes out of the beast that's out there. And so that's 19, that's a part of the regeneration. Uh, what regeneration? Well, it's 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 the regeneration of man. And in particular, here we're talking about the regeneration of the spiritual aspect of man in the cosmic era here. To grow in our spirit. Because in the past cycles, before the cosmic era, most of the time was spent on corporea and developing man in corporea, and developing man's animal nature and, and improving it, man learning corporeal things, how to deal with the corporeal world and also how to deal with the spiritual world corporeally though, but most of his outlook was corporeal and moreover most of his teachings had to do with corporea. Although he was given some spiritual teachings, most of the effort and energy of the kingdom of Jehovah through his God gods over the, the, the cycles and his lords was to help man to, to get him to improve his corporeality and secondarily his spirituality. But now that we're in Cosman and we've attained to comprehensive judgment within the soul, well, I mean we have learned sufficient spirituality in the past but now is the time to actually really grow and blossom in the spiritual aspect of it. It can get nurtured, it can get nourished, it can get cultivated. Because in the past, that could only be cultivated to a limited extent, otherwise it would be at the expense of corpor, and corpor wasn't developed enough in man to sustain that. But now we are. As part of this growing process of, of attaining to the S inside of us, because we all have this, this S within us, which is contained, living within this corporeal realm. And it's, it's, it's all just the same person here, observing both corporea and S. And everyone can attain to this, not only because, it's, because we have testimony that it's so, but because uh, we can actually prove it to ourselves and through the faith of discipline which is given in Owaspi, and Owaspi says, hey, here's how you can attain to, to know these things. And th that man will, from his S, from inside him, it, which is the feminine, and, and the receptivity, from that foundation, that he will, he will learn how to keep the S alive, how to keep the spirit flowing, and well, and in light, even in the midst of sabia, even in the midst of evil expressions of the beast. And, and, we, and we grow in, in our S and we learn how to deal with that. That's the time that we're in, that's the importance, one of the importance of 19. So all these, these, these uh, seemingly so-called bad numbers 
are not necessarily bad. They may be uh, challenging and, and difficult to to, do, to deal with, to learn how to uh, gain mastery over, but it can uh, happen that, that we transcend above it and learn how to go forth in, in Jehovah's light and in His flow. So that's 19, and when we get, then we get to 20, which comes enlightenment. Ah, finally enlightenment. Number 20 and Samoin is the enlightened man. Now, this is, this is this higher aspect that we're talking about, but in the lower aspect, the enlightened man basically simply means a corporeal enlightened. Enlightened as far as corporeal things. It doesn't necessarily mean enlightened according to S things. But in Quasman, we will grow enlightened in S things. Corporeal enlightenment does not mean that we have to forego growing in spiritual enlightenment. We do learn from Owaspi that whatever is nurtured will grow, and part of Quasman is to learn this balance between S and Corpor. 20 then is going to be the sustaining of the good that's in man, right? Because you have 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That's number 9 on this the objective row of Samoyin, and 9 on the subjective row. Nine on the higher row is Eloi, the sustaining of the good. And so it is our enlightenment that can sustain the good that is within man. So that's one of the meanings of, of number 20. Uh, another thing that uh, 20 means is you can look at it as, as the soul that comes out of wisdom. And so, uh, that's what the number means, two, zero, twenty, is the soul, that soul being zero, that comes out of the wisdom, the two, because the, the two is in the, uh, it's like the next rank up, you're going by ranks, and, and we have what's in mathematics, a decimal system, or a, a base ten system, and, uh, we have you know ten fingers and ten toes, and um, we know that from ten from Samoin means complete, and so it's a good system. Uh, there's other meanings associated with that can be associated with twenty because what we did with seventeen and eighteen, and what we did earlier with man, and looking at these different uh, entities, these different realities as a foundation, and seeing how how. Man, for example, relates to the earlier entities and, uh, and, and even later entities. We can see all these relationships. We can do the same thing with, with 20, and we can do the same thing with 21, which is the Oki, which is the next number. And 21 has to do with the home.